All right, what is up, my Z fighters, my duelists, and my trainers? Today is going to be the last video of the year, and I'm going to be doing a Dark Magician deck profile. I'm super excited because I've been taking this deck to like a couple of locals, and I've actually been winning a lot of games. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I use for my Dark Magician deck profile. And uh, yeah, throughout the video, I'll probably talk about some highlights of this year. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, let's get right into the video. Let's go. All right, guys, I am super excited to finally do my first ever deck profile, like, on my channel. I did one a couple of years ago, and it was uh, a friend actually did it. And... Um, yeah, his name is uh, Master Swag King, so if you guys want to check out that video, I think it's like a Dark Magician deck profile from 2019. Definitely go check it out, uh, subscribe to him also, and um, let's get right into the video, guys. So, first off, I want to go with the three Dark Magicians. I do run uh, Dark Magician at three because I just like seeing it. And this is going to be more of like a traditional build, like more of like, you know, still like the classic cards. So this is what I build and it's very fun. I'm gonna go through all the materials first guys. Then we got our three magician souls. And just to say for the dark magicians to go back on it, these are my DDSs and my LOB first edition. So definitely some like childhood cards and uh, just you know fan favorite cards. Then we got the magician souls. And uh, for Magician Souls, I mean, come on guys, you know, he basically puts the Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl in the graveyard. Um, you get to special summon him or special summon one of them. And if he's on the field, you get a pot two, pot of greed. It's Magician Souls is just, you have to play it, you have to. Obviously for our searchers, I also play three of my Magician's Rod. This is like... These these are my main monsters. I always want to just open up with just these two as much as I can. And this one's a little bit tricky because I, I don't see anybody playing this card no more. But I still run a Princess Illusion Magician. Uh, I just have to. I've always played her in like all of my like decks before. And I'm not giving up. And I'd rather see this than any other like card. So there's that. I also do play dark magician girl just for the soul servants but i'll get to that when it's this, when it's the spells and uh, guys for so long i've tried to keep my deck just my, like spell casters and just like more of the dark magician cards but i'm sorry i had to give in to you know the red eyes black dragon guys i had to i just dude that dragoon combo it's just too good. You have to utilize the boss monster as much as possible, guys. And for the apprentice, I didn't explain it. My bad. Um, you know, you could send a card to the graveyard and search out your dark magician. And you know what? People have been trying to like overpower my dragoon, and this definitely helps in like a tight spot. So, yeah, during the damage calculation, I can send it to the graveyard, and dragoon gains even more power. So. You know, if he's at 3,000 and people try to uh, try to overpower him before he could even get his first um, effect off, definitely Apprentice comes in a clutch. So that's going to be it for monsters, guys. All right, guys, for monsters, that is 13 monsters that I do run in my deck. So we're going to get into the spell cards. I do run the three magical circles. I, I run three because I still want to like see it as soon as much as possible. I mean, if I ever draw an, an extra one, I can't really use it. I mean, Magician Souls, you know, there's just so many cards that could like that are just so useful. So for spell cards, I do run 18. So we're going to get to the 18 cards that I that I actually do run. Ah, oh, man, I hope no one <laughs> gives me heat, but I do run three Red Eyes Fusion, even though I run... um. Only one Red Eyes Black Dragon. I think three is the best to run it at because you want to see this card definitely, and you know even if your monster, even if your opponent like negates one, you know you'll always have that that out. And you know what? I've actually been able to use two of them. 
um, in a duel because you know people forget about red, red eyes flare. You you know you discard a material which was most likely gonna be your dark magician, and you bring red eyes back from the graveyard. So if you if you were to bring dark magician and red eyes, and if they survive for one turn, you get to use another red eyes fusion. Boom! You know on the field, that's another dragoon. That's two dragoons, and you know what? Even if this is a dead card, that's where Apprentice comes in, you know, like, if it's a dead card, pitch it and bring her out. Search your Dark Magician, guys. And, you know, I mean, Souls too. Souls helps. You know what, like, a lot of these, a lot of these, like, cards actually are so good in, like, in the deck. Like, it's just, come on. It's first turn Dragoon. That's it. Like, that's, that's what you want to see. Please don't play that at one. And then for my next three, of course, since I'm running that Dark Magician Girl, I am running the three Soul Servants, guys. You get to put any card that specifically lists Dark Magician to the top of your deck. Then banish this from Graveyard and draw. If you have a Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, broken. Pot of Greed, literally. Man, you have to run three of those. And then for my last three of, I am running three secrets of, or uh, secret village of the spellcasters. This is a little newer card. Um, I decided to add it last minute, but I mean, imagine guys, if you play this, and if you have dragoon on the field, dragoon, and your opponent can't use spells, broken. You literally like that's game. Like there, there's no way they're 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 gonna make it out of that. So um, I'm not sure if I'm really comfortable running this at three. But like I said, I do want to see it as much as much as possible, and I do have a lot of outs. So if I do see two, just in case, there's apprentice and there's you know souls. There's there's magician souls to help me out. Um, and then. We're gonna get to our ones of so I do run the brand new magician salvation Broken card too. I love seeing this card. Uh, oh I have one two of I do run the uh, spell book of knowledge to just in case if I have a dark magician and On the field and I need to have him in the graveyard to bring him back pop him draw two cards boom draw power like consistent draw power everything we do have Secrets of Dark Magic, just in case if I have two Spellcasters, I get to just fusion for the Dark Magicians. You know what? I still run Dark Magic Attack because sometimes there'll be those moments where if I have Dragoon on the field and I don't have anything to pitch, I'll activate Eternal, Eternal Soul. I will literally grab this and then, you know, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, I will use Dragoon's uh, effect to... If my if my opponent activate a spell or trap card, I get to send a card to the graveyard and gain it and gain a thousand attack. And that's tournament, guys. That's tournament. And then I am running the one called by the grave. And if not, if I just searched it and they did nothing, my next turn, you know, special summon my dark my my dark magician, and then blow up their back row. All right, All right guys, it's time for some trap cards. So, of course, I am running the three Eternal Souls. Like, um, I've always liked Eternal Soul, and it's always held, helped me out. I kind of want to see it as soon as possible, too. It's one of those cards where I, you know, like, if, if, if I could avoid searching for it, that's good. So, I do run three for, for that point. And I still run one of Magician's nav Navigation. You know what, like, the the reason why I run this is because I do run the, you know, the combo with the Dark Magician Girl. It's just a really good um, card to bring out another spellcaster. Special, and I could special summon them in defense mode. I could go for two Dark Magicians. I don't know, guys. And then if it's in the graveyard, I could negate a spell or trap card. If I control a Dark Magician, I mean, there's just too much, like... If it's a dead card, like, uh, again, Souls and Apprentice, so many cards that could just, you know, like, 
that could get rid of I could pitch this search of dark magician eternal soul use boom there we go I am running um my three solemn strikes I like to negate um effects and uh you know you pay a thousand five hundred which is not too much and you get to you know destroy any monster that's special summoned or if they use an effects definitely love doing that I do run the Triumental Tribute because, I mean, man, if I get to pop all of my monsters, um, all of my opponent's monsters, definitely sick. And, I mean, this can't pop your own Dragoon. Like, Dragoon can't be destroyed by this. And your Dark Magician is going to be protected by Eternal Soul. Like, guys, Triumental Tribute, please run that. <laughs> and then last card, I do run the Skill Drain. Now, I will say this. Out of all of my duels, Skill Drain has worked for me, except one of them where I kind of read Dragoon wrong and I thought it was unaffected by cards. It's just, it can't be destroyed by card effects, but it can still be affected. And this, this, like, it made me, um, it made my Dragoon kind of, yeah, I nerfed my, my own Dragoon by accident, but I still won the match, so... Even if you, you know, kind of make a little mistake, I mean, like I said, guys, skill drain, Dark Magician beat down, it's over. And that's it for my spells. I think I said spells. That's it for my traps. That was nine traps in total. So nine traps, 18 spells, and 13 monsters. Now let's get to the extra deck. Yeah, I'm sorry guys if I sound a little nervous. Um, this is my first time ever making a Dark Magician deck deck profile, and I'm just like, I've I've been really wanting to make one for so long. So I'm gonna go with my XCs first. My XCs monsters, I do run the e the Ebon Illusion Magician. I mean, come on, you know your Dark Magician attacks, you declare, and you get to banish a card on the field, and then you get to attack with him. And if you had Circle of You bring back a Dark Magician, you get to banish a card already. And it's just like if you do that all, all in one turn, that's two banishes, two attacks straight, 50, broken. Red Eyes Fusion. I mean, Red Eyes Fusion, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Yes, you have to, like, you just have to use it. If you're running a Red Eyes, like, monster in your deck, and if you you get it off by red eyes fusion and if you if you're able to make this card you one you're burning your opponent you're sending dark magician to the graveyard where you always want it then you get to bring back your red eyes and just and you know like 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 i said fusion again that that is your that is your literally this monster is your eternal soul for red eyes up to up to two times guys up to two times up to the materials and then I am running the number 89. Uh, you know what? I haven't used this card too much. But if I ever go against mirror matches. And if my opponents, you know. If, they really, if they're really depending off of a Dragoon. Man, this card. Get to banish one of your opponent's extra monster decks. Come on. What are you guys doing? It has like. it's 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 good for getting rid of. You know, Axis Co Talker, Predator Planet, you know, or uh, the Inverte Anaconda. It's just if you want to get rid of a boss monster from their extra extra deck, run this card, and it's brand new. It just came out of Brothers of Legend. And then my last card, I am running the number eleven Big Eye. Um, sometimes if if I just want to swing over i'll take over their monster and then i'll let i'll let my i'll let my monsters dance but do you re, do you remember if you do detach the material to control monster big guy could not attack that's the only downside i wish big guy could attack it would have been a little bit broken if big guy could attack but come on guys you get to control the monster sick so only four for xes and then i'm not sure how many links but i'm just gonna go off I do run the Link Spider just to continuously get Dark Magician in the uh, graveyard. I run the Relinquish uh, uh, Anima. I mean, 
if I point to my opponent's strongest monster, hopefully if it's in the same column, I, I gain that attack and I get to equip their monster to my monster? Broken. I do run Wee Witch. It gives all of your spellcasters an attack bonus and all light monsters lose. And you know what? If it's destroyed, I get to search for one dark monster in my graveyard and add it to my hand. Guys, that's Souls, that's Rod. That's Dark Magician. That's any card you want in your hand. Boom. There it goes. Right there. Apprentice. We wish Apprentice. I am running the Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. I mean, guys, pay 2,000. Red Eyes Fusion. Dragoon. Sick combo. I don't I don't think I need to explain that. I don't I, I think I think everyone knows how annoying that card is. I'm running Celine because uh, guys, I'm running 18 spell cards. And, you know, if I just get rid of th three spell counters, a free Dark Magician, you know, in defense mode. Guys, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I am running Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. If I'm dealing with uh, a lot of decks that have a lot of effects, this card definitely comes in handy and um, it, it gets the job done. And then I'm running Axis Code Talker myself. Man, sometimes when, when I make these links for fun and then I get the access code, it's it's just, it's amazing. Powerful card. Uh, you know, if I link summon off of these monsters, it gains the attack. It's already a 23, which is not that bad. It's not that bad. And it just gains more and more and more attack. And it's unaffected. Guys, broken. Now let's get to the fusions. Last four fusions. Let's get these out the way. Oh, this video is coming to an end. No, I'm running the one Dark Magician V Dragon Knight. I mean, it protects back row. I normally don't go into him too much, but just in case the people are targeting my back row, this would help. And he counts as a Dark Magician, so if, they, if they're able to swing over him, that's a good thing because you could bring him back. Then I'm running the Dark Magicians. Yeah, guys. Uh, if if they activate a spell trap card, draw one card. If if he gets destroyed, special summon Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. This this is this is one of my favorite cards. And then obviously the two Red Eyes Dark Dragoons, because I I do see myself always making two. I've never had that opportunity to ever make three, so I don't run three. But, I mean, two is plenty. One. One is going to be tough. If they could get over one, they had to have the resources to get over it. And I'm pretty sure it's going to cost them a lot. So, if you're running two and you have two, man. But I, 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 already, told, I already told you guys how to bring out two. It's that, it's that exceeds, man. So, let's get into the extra deck now. Alright, guys. For my extra deck, this is like more of like going um, round two. So if I'm going to go round round two, I'll always side for the three Ash Blossoms. I mean, I kind of want to negate. I don't want to let my opponent search. You know, um, I'm also going for the three evenly matches. I got to see it. You know, if they make their board, they get this evenly match problem. It's... Man, they got to say goodbye to their board. Literally, this is a board stopper. So, evenly matched. Let's go. I, I also running the three infinite impertinents. Um, yeah, guys. I get to negate a uh, monster effect and the same column. You got to be really careful with how you use uh this one you know like using cards using traps from your hand is like super new to me still but uh i see why people do it so infinite permits and then the last three cards for my going first i mean going second is uh actually now it's going to going first now now these now these are my going first i do run the three goes in matches i mean like I, there's a lot of decks that have like a lot of different attributes, so forcing them to only use one is very tough. And links are all like different attributes as well, so definitely good. 
And then I run three spells. I run the Harpy's Feather Duster going first. I run the Super Polymerization. Uh, just in case if I'm going up against any Dragon decks, uh, aka Blue Eyes, uh, I get to use their Dragon. Or, um, you know, even Monster Reborn. Um, two of fan favorite cards right here. The Harpy's Feather Duster and the Monster Reborn. Uh, uh, Monster Reborn, I could bring back a monster from even my opponent's graveyard. Guys. Mirror matches. If I get rid of their Dragoon. Oh, man. It's it, it's broken, guys. It's broken. But yeah, guys. Uh, so far, that's been my Dark Magician deck profile. Uh, let me know how you guys like it. I tried to keep it more to just the Dark Magicians themselves. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen. But um, yeah, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, you know, Merry Christmas. I was very busy, so I'm sorry I kind of disappeared for a little while. You know, I mean, it's the holidays. I, I know you guys will definitely understand, but um, <laughs> I've missed you guys a lot, and I'm excited for the new year. We're going to, you know, do a lot more videos. I'm excited for a lot of future content. That I just have so many ideas, and I just wish I could just make them all in one day, but I know it's better not to just overkill myself. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh definitely try to build this deck and if you guys like it let me know it's very very fun um i normally win four out of five or even three out of four sometimes i always top with this deck it's very very fun um you know even with just family and friends you know this th this is a deck that will definitely give them a lot of problems guys all right guys well that has been the video if you guys like content like this, please like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the future, my duelist. Goodbye.